Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. Well, Showcase, the online trade show and job fair, is open and online at fergusfalls.com from April 4th through April 10th. And boy, you're going to meet some of the greatest businesses in our community. There's a whole bunch of them who are hiring. So if you or someone that you know is looking either for a new career, a change of careers, a summer job, a side hustle, you name it, there are some great opportunities out there. Plus, when you visit Showcase Fergus Falls at fergusfalls.com, you will be looking in the booths, the virtual booths, for some secret words. And once you find all 14 secret words, you can enter to win grand prizes. So we'll have over $2,000 in the grand prize drawing. We've got things like a, Beats, a set of Beats headphones. We've got gift cards for service food. We've got gas cards. We've got home decor items, all kinds of fantastic things that you are going to want to win. So remember, April 4th through April 10th, is showcase the virtual trade show and job fair online at fergusfalls.com. And of course, it wouldn't be a fun trade show if we didn't have some sort of networking involved. So we are hosting a showcase social member mixer on Thursday, April 7th at the Eagles Club from 4.30 to 6.30. And you can register on our website at fergusfalls.com and come on out for some great networking, some appetizers, and get together with your friends and neighbors in our community. Well, speaking of our community, one of the best uh, things that has happened to our community is Uncle Eddie's Ice Cream, and it is opening on Friday, April 1st. One of the owners, Kurt Frustel, will be joining us on the show today, and you are going to learn how to say ice cream in Norwegian, so stay tuned. <laughs> Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Well, welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. Kurt Prustel is taking a break from getting Uncle Eddie's ready for opening day. Opening day, Friday, April 1st. Yep. No fooling. No fooling. We're, you're really going to unlock the doors. Five o'clock. Yep. We were thinking of doing an April Fool's joke, but I don't think the customers will be happy. <laughs> no. So we're going to keep the doors open. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, Uncle Eddie's, you guys are in, is this your second, third this year? This will be our third year. Third summer yeah. already. Wow. We opened Memorial Day weekend, uh, 2020. In the middle of a pandemic and yeah. couldn't, made, couldn't have made people any happier than opening an ice cream shop downtown Fergus Falls. It's I know. fantastic. The genius in me opened up in the middle of the pandemic. <laughs> everything was kind of shut down, masks, everything. But it yeah. worked out great. It was really nice. Well, and, and all of the work that you guys have done um, to really transform the space that was, was it a paint Sherwin store? Sherwin-Williams yeah. paint store. Yeah. So had you been in there for your business? The other... The other business that we'll get to. Yeah. So I would frequent, I, I'm not a painter, I'm a carpenter. Yeah. But I would frequent quite a bit Sherwin-Williams for eyes and ends. And I was talking to Chris one day, the manager at right. Sherwin-Williams. And he's like, yeah, did you hear we're moving? So I'm like, really? So um, he said, yeah, we're moving out to the old Kentucky Fried Chicken building. Because like, that makes sense. Uh, you know, when you think yeah. about it, it's like, okay, paint store into the... Yeah, so chicken and, store and anyway, I asked him, "What are you doing with the building?" He's like, "Well, we're leasing it. It's not really ours." So, so I started putting some number thoughts together, and um, I found out who owned it. I called him up, and uh, it just kind of worked out. It was a, it was perfect. Yeah. Well, you guys did a lot of work yeah. transforming yeah. that space into just a great destination too. Well, we probably that year I probably spent a thousand hours on top of my regular job. You know, because we had the floor, we brought out the old fl original flooring. Wow. So that had uh, linoleum, of linoleum, plywood, linoleum, linoleum, plywood, linoleum. And we had probably, <laughs> I think somewhere between a, a billion and a half staples and two billion staples. I was on the floor it, laying. Who counted them? Um, I'm was still, that I'm still counting. Oh, you're still counting. I'm still okay. counting. Okay, okay. Um, but I was on that floor oh. for a couple of weeks just pulling staples. I would have had a hard time getting up off the floor. <laughs> Which is why I just laid there. Yeah. <laughs> and then the wall, um, I think most of you have been in there probably, but the wall um, 
the brick wall. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it was a plastered wall. So we chipped off the plaster, we oh, wow. sandblasted the brick, and put a sealer on it and brought it back to where it is now. But it is, it's beautiful. Yeah, it was and a lot of work. Great photos of Fergus Falls inside, but of course, the best part, well, one of the best parts is the ice cream. Yes. Oh, it's so, it's just, just makes people smile and you know uh, the the kiddos running around either they're downtown or what a great bribery or treat or you know they go to Otter Cove and I always love to see like on Saturday mornings downtown Fergus Falls there's little kids and they're dragging their parents into Otter Cove yeah. and then the, the parents are dragging the kids out but now they could tell them Uncle Eddie's is open so now the kids can drag the parents yep. inside yep. Uncle Eddie's and I, I, I'm gonna work there more this year um, I haven't been able to because of my other stuff going on but I love working there and one of the reasons is that you yeah. know we have a kid pulling dad in the front door <laughs> and not getting in fast enough and leaving even happier you know oh, that's yeah. the stuff that's just kind of exciting for me and to see. And new traditions that can be started for yeah. families too. Yeah. You know, it, it just makes, you know, Fergus Falls an even more fantastic destination um, when people can come for its hard scoop, we call it hard, hard not scoop hard, scoop, yeah. hard scooped ice cream yeah. in how many different flavors? We have 40 flavors. Should we name them? Um, they changed it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I, I remember maybe four of them. Where, are your favorites? You well, favorites? you know, it's it's funny. My favorite, which I didn't know about until we opened up, is lemon bar. That one is fabulous. It is really good. It's it, if you like lemon, it's the way to go. Yeah. The other one that I really appreciate, which um, is is licorice, black licorice ice cream. It's good. Yeah. It I don't is. really care for black licorice, but the black yeah. licorice ice cream is really good. Yeah. So those two, and obviously, you know, mint chocolate chip. Those are my three go-to usually. Is is mint chocolate chip the best seller? Do you have a best seller there? Our best seller would probably be, um, I would say Monster Cookie. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a yeah, that's one. a kid classic yeah. for and, sure. And obviously Superman with the kids, they yeah. just love that. Yeah, because it turns your tongue blue. A little you know, bit. there's three different colors in it, so <laughs> I think they just like the color. I don't yeah. Know they like you know the bright. It sells like crazy bright colors yeah. and things like that. So it's it's exciting though to yeah. have it opening and as I understand too, I mean you guys make cones right there? We do. So my wife is gonna be in there at noon today uh, with her friend Tracy and they're gonna start making waffle cones ready for tonight. So, and it's funny because we haven't been opening since October, but you still walk in the front door, you smell the waffle cones today. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. it's such a great smell. Yeah, it's I mean, the best. You wouldn't think that ice cream would draw you in with the smell, but those yeah, no, the waffle cones are, are fantastic. That's great. Well, we should talk a little bit about <clears throat> why it's named Uncle Eddie's. Okay, so do you want me to go a little further back? Yeah, um, where, so let's, how, where this how do we start? From? Yeah, okay. so you were, wait, <laughs> what was the line again? <laughs> where were you born and, and how old were you? Oh, so, well, let's go way back. I was young, at a, I was born at a very young age. Yeah. So, well, anyway, that being said, um, I lived in Norway for 10 years as a kid. Uh, we moved to New Jersey when I was 12. I worked construction with my dad, and we'll probably get into that a little later, but. So you were born in Norway? No, I was actually born in Orange, New Jersey. Okay. When I was three years old, we moved to Norway. Okay. I lived there for 10 years, and we came back and moved to New Jersey okay. when I was 13. And then um, um, went to high school, got thrown into junior high, not knowing a word of English, at on New Year's, uh, first of January. Oh my. So New Year's Eve we came, and I got thrown into junior high, not knowing a word of English. I knew like, yes, I... no, boy, girl kind of thing. But fortunately for me, I was kind of tall. Okay. And I played soccer, because in Norway, everybody plays soccer. Yes. So... <laughs> And I'm going off the subject here a little bit, but that's alright. I like the story. Yeah. So <laughs> it was kind of funny in junior high. Everybody would come up to me and be like, "Oh, teach me some swear words in Norwegian." <laughs> so I would teach him like in Norwegian. I would say, "Do that so sweet," which means you're so cute. Oh. So and stuff like that. So you have these big football guys, you know, going around saying, "You are so cute," <laughs> you know, thinking they're swearing. Oh, that's awesome. And they, I don't think they still know, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> But anyway, so we lived in New Jersey. Um, I met my, my wife um, in my, when I was 23. 
uh, fabulous woman. Uh, she's the best. We got married. Uh, Anne is. is Anne she's is the a best. gem. She is the best. And uh, got married. I had a couple of kids, Heather and Jason. Um, so in New Jersey, that was that. I worked construction since. In high school, I worked with my dad construction. Sure. So, so your dad had a construction business oh yeah. too. His dad was a carpenter. My okay. dad, uh, I'm a carpenter, and now my son is going that route too. You know, so it's kind of fun that way. Um, but in New Jersey, in the last five years before we moved here, I always, I had a dream of opening an ice cream shop. Yeah. And we had two places in New Jersey that we actually looked at, that we were going to open up. And for some reason, the pieces just didn't fall together. And was it meant to be? It didn't work out. Um, and then 10 years ago, coming up now in August, we moved to Fergus Falls. And what brought you to Fergus Falls then? So both my kids went to Hillcrest. Um, Heather went and graduated. Jason went. Um, and then his senior year, we came out. We did, I did some work out here because we did, we did a couple of houses and stuff. So I would come out and work. And then one year, we're, one they were out here working, my realtor in New Jersey called and said, somebody wants to buy your house. Well, It was not a market or anything like that, so we're like, well, that's entertaining. <laughs> so we think, think a little bit about that, and as I was working on a house across the street, diagonal, there was another house for sale. What? In Fergus here, and I'm like, well, that's interesting too. <laughs> and it had a double garage and a heated garage. Oh, that's perfect. And if that you're... was entertaining. Yeah. So, Everything kind of worked out. Uh, we accepted that, that, that. We said, well, if we don't like it, we'll move back to New Jersey. Yep. You know, we'll try it for a year if we don't like it. Jason moved and stayed with us now his senior year. Stayed at home instead of at the dorm. Instead of, sure. So all that worked out. Um, and here we are 10 years later. We haven't moved back. Wow. So. And we are so thankful that you truly were called to Fergus Falls. Yeah, and it's kind of neat. It's you like know, magic. I, I I love Fergus. I came out here thinking, you know, I need a life ch change. I need a change of pace. I need to relax a little bit. And New Jersey is super hectic, and yeah. everything's expensive. And you know, as everybody knows. But I realized out here it's not just the location; it's me. So I I tend to get a little too busy wherever I am. I mean, I could probably pulling be on, a billion staples out of a floor. I can probably lay on the beach in Jamaica and just be too busy, <laughs> you know. So that's just that's just the way I am. But anyway, this is gonna be kind of a long story, that's but I hope right. it's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So we we're totally fixed up our house where we're living now, and um, we tore off the front porch about four years ago. And on, underneath, in the dirt, I found an old glass bottle, and it says Fergus Falls ice cream. Really? And I have yet to find out. I haven't brought it to the museum yet. But it's actually a glass bottle, and that house was built in 1905-ish. Okay. I don't know how old that bottle is, and I've Googled it, and I can't really find anything on it. So I want to bring it down to the museum one day and ask him what this is all about. Yeah. But I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. Fergus Falls ice cream. That's like a, dairy or another something. one of those signs. Yeah. Or... So then that came along. And then going back to Sherwin Williams... You know, it wasn't really on my mind as much until I found out that Sean Williams was moving. Then things started rolling again. And um, that worked out very well. And as we were remodeling it, you know, I'm like, we got to have a deep freeze in this thing, a big freezer. Yeah. Which is a hassle when you have tubs of ice cream you have to bring up and down all the time. Right. Because the basement was the only place. Well, that being said, I was doing a job up in Battle Lake. And this is the first time ever, and I'm sure last time ever, somebody offered, as part of payment, to give me a dumbwaiter. Really? So whoever does that? <laughs> right in the middle of a think on how to get my ice cream and up and down like, the And you're like, sure, like who would say yes or yeah. why? <laughs> so now I have a dumbwaiter, which is perfect, because you throw in four tubs of ice cream, up it goes, and, and there you have it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So pieces just kind of fell together. Fell into place. Yeah. It was meant to be. I think so. And fortunately for me, I, I do construction, so we're able to do a lot of the work ourselves right. in, in the transition of the building. Many, so, many hours. Many, many hours, yeah. Well, it's just such a fabulous destination. and So I'm sure, do you have people that come in and ask if, if Uncle Eddie is there? So, 
I've been asked many times, are you Uncle Eddie's? Or who is Uncle Eddie's? And Uncle Eddie's was actually my father-in-law. So, <laughs> so when we moved out, my brother had moved out before, and my sister had moved out before with their families, oh, kind of because we were out here working. Yep. Yep. And then my my in laws moved out about six, seven years, seven years ago, and my parents moved out six years ago. So we have a, a little the whole family here, more or less. I have a brother and a sister left, but um, my father in law, his name was Ed. So whenever we had Christmas gatherings or family gatherings, I would always hear kids running, Uncle Eddie, Uncle Eddie. You know, so that's kind of where that came from. That's cute. Yeah, Super and it cute. kind of flows. I thought it was kind of nice. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so Uncle Eddie's ice cream, opening day, open for the season. So if you lived in Norway for 10 years, yep. and you said you didn't speak a word of English yep. when you started junior high in the States, how do you say ice cream in Norwegian? So I, it's kind of close. We, it's called Iskrem. Iskrem. Yep. Okay, everybody say that. So that's pretty close. Okay, so right. now we've given everyone a, a lesson in Norwegian. So next time, if we do another one, we'll come up with another word. Okay. So after a while, we'll have a fluent. Yes, well, <laughs> we're going to... We'll a few interviews, we'll get, but right. we'll get you. Yeah, we're going to teach everyone Norwegian in Fergus Falls. One TV show at a time, you get one word. One word at one a word. time. One yep. word. One word. Well, we're just thrilled that you guys are in Fergus Falls and that you've, you've chosen this great downtown location, great destination. Great family spot. Great, honestly, it's a good place if you're, you know, if you haven't had lunch and it's three in the afternoon, you know, next week or throughout the summer when it's yeah. open longer hours, you know, just grab a little ice cream for, for a late lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is better than ice cream for lunch. Absolutely. Well, Kurt, I hope you join us on the show again. I hope so. All right, we'll tell more stories. You'll tell more stories. I'll come up with some more. Sounds yeah. good. Well, again, we're excited for opening day and can't wait to see all those. Kids and families and adults, everyone walking out the door with a smile on their face. So our hours. Yes. Um, tonight we're going to open it from five to nine, and then um, tomorrow and Sunday is uh, two to nine, and then for the month of April will be Thursday through Sunday, okay. two to nine. Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. Two to nine for the month. And then in May we'll go back to our original. I think it's going to be twelve to nine every day. Okay. So sounds good. Something yeah. to look forward to. Again, thanks again for being a guest on our Thank show. Thank you so much. This was so great. You bet. We'll be back after a little break. It doubles every two minutes. How long? Hey, Dad. We're going for a run. Okay. Uh, you're going to go together? That's what we means. Okay. Uh, well, just be careful. Make sure you're not running alone. Stay on the sidewalk. Watch for cars. Don't talk to strangers. Another virus was blocked? What are you doing? Are you listening to me? All right? Because when it comes to safety, nobody knows safety better than me. Be careful out there. Are you doing an online quiz? Yeah. This one's going to tell me my IQ, which I've always wanted to know, because it's a mystery. I'm guessing it's very low, because all these quizzes are for us to get your passwords for everything. Oh, is that right? How do you not know that? How do you know that? How long have you been doing these quizzes for? How old are you? 11. 11 years. How do you not know how old I am? Because that's a long time, 11 years, to remember stuff. All right, well, we're going to go for a run and watch for cars and strangers, and you change all your passwords so your identity isn't wiped out. Very dramatic. Really like to know my IQ, though. It doubles every two minutes. How long? Well, welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls, and boy, isn't that fun hearing the stories of how people end up in Fergus Falls, their life history, and... And we get ice cream out of it. So I want to thank our guest today, Kurt Frustel, for joining us. Hope you get on down to Uncle Eddie's uh, during the month of April when they are open starting from 2 to 9. Open on Friday, April 1st, starting at 5 o'clock. Get down there and get your favorite flavor. If you want to learn more about Uncle Eddie's, all the great businesses in the Fergus Falls, and if you want to register to win some prizes with Showcase online, check out our website at fergusfalls.com. I'm Lisa Workman. We'll see you again next week.